Alright, so in this video I'm going to review uh, the three forms of quadratic functions that we've gone over uh, the last couple of days in class. And so hopefully uh, this helps you kind of bring everything together. So, three forms of a quadratic function. A lot of people use a lot of different names, but in class we've used these three names. We've used standard form, we've used vertex form, and we've used uh, intercept or factored form. Uh, so <clears throat> Standard form looks like this, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form looks like this, y equals uh, a, and then parentheses, x minus h squared, and then plus k. And then intercept form is y equals a, and then x minus r, x minus s. Uh, so what we've done over the last couple of days, is we've seen how uh, a certain form kind of shifts the graph around in uh, the coordinate plane, shifts the parabola around. And so for standard form, it's very difficult to see how it shifts left and right, uh, but a couple things you can see is that A can tell you if the graph opens up. If A is positive, it'll tell you that the graph opens up. And A, if it's negative, less than zero, then the graph, the parabola, will open downward. And that's actually the same for all three. Uh, the final thing uh, is uh, that the standard form can kind of tell you is this, is that C is the y-intercept. And so uh, that'll move the graph up and down and move the parabola up and down on the y-axis. Uh, the best one to tell like what's taking place in regards to shifting uh, and things like that is vertex form. Vertex form is real nice that way. And so vertex form, the H and the K deal with shifting. The H deals with horizontal shifts. And so depending on what H is, it'll move the graph left and right. Depending on what K is, it'll move the graph up and down. The one thing that you want to remember is that for H, uh, H is the opposite of what you see. And K is definitely uh, whatever, it, whatever you see there at the end being added or subtracted. That's the K value. So uh, the final thing about this is that the vertex can be found easily by looking at the form and it's h comma k. <clears throat> uh, the final one is intercept form and we looked at the uh, this in class yesterday and r and s are x-intercepts. And just like with h, r is the opposite of what you see and s is the opposite of what you see and the way you write those x-intercepts would be r comma zero and s comma zero. One more time, a does the same thing in all three forms. All right, so let's practice this real fast, uh, and then uh, that'll be the end of the review here. So three forms, y equals x plus three and x plus one. Next form, y equals x squared plus four x plus 3, and then the last one is y equals x plus 2 squared, and then minus 1. If you were actually to graph all three of these, they would be the same exact parabola. They just tell three different stories. And so the first one is intercept form, and so the intercepts, the x-intercepts, can be found real easily um, by looking inside the parentheses. So uh, when I look inside here and here, I'm going to basically go with the opposite of what I see. 
So the opposite would be negative 3. And so negative 3 comma 0. And then the other one would be negative 1 comma 0. Uh, those would be the x-intercepts. Uh, the next one is in standard form. Uh, pretty much the only thing that standard form can tell me at the moment just by looking at it is if the graph opens up or down. So I look at A. A is a positive 1. And so therefore, um, even though I can't see it, so therefore it's going to open up. And then <coughs> the graph will also have a y-intercept at 3. So we can say that the y-intercept is at 0, 3. The x value is 0. The final thing is vertex form, and so vertex form is nice because I can find H by looking inside the parentheses, I can find K by looking outside, so H is the opposite of what I see, it's negative 2, and K is negative 1, meaning that the vertex is at negative 2, comma, negative 1. And if somebody asked me what kind of transformations took place, uh, I can tell them that the vertex uh, has been shifted to the left too, because h is negative, so that moves in the negative direction, so that's left horizontally, uh, so left 2 and down 1. And that's kind of your review. Hopefully it helps. Talk to you later.